Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video, man. Listen, this is one really cool car. Let, hear me out for my whole story. Let me tell you the whole thing and tell me what you think. So, original 69 396 Chevelle. Although rare cars, okay, they made plenty of them, but matching numbers cars, not so many of those. Throw in the 375 horsepower, meaning the most powerful engine you could get that year from General Motors in these cars, all right? And you're like, wow, that's really cool. And then if it's matching numbers as well, because remember, back in the day, we kind of bought these cars to drive them. And we drove them hard, and uh, you know the bottom ends of these cars were not super strong. The 375 force motors, though, were the same motors as a Corvette, and a lot of people don't know that. You know, in 65, when you had the Corvette motor in there, the one year only, this is the same motor, and the same exact thing, it made 425 horsepower, but they didn't want to rate these the same as uh, the Corvette engine, so they didn't. But if you check things out, I think you'll find what I'm saying may be true, all right? But these are probably closer to 425 horsepower, too. So anyway, so uh, uh, having said that, you say, well, okay, that's great. Now, what's it, well, why, where are you going with this? Well, let me tell you where I'm going with this. So I looked at the car and I said, the color's kind of peculiar. I really like the color, uh, but I said, wow, that's green. It's kind of, you know, it's not red, it's not black and whatever. And that's exactly why this car has survived to a matching numbers engine, transmission, original rear end. It's all the way it came off the showroom floor. And the reason it's that way is because the person that owned this car for, the, for the, uh, that long time that they had it is because of the color. They weren't really a racer. They probably bought this car, okay, because they wanted a sporty car, but they didn't want uh, to be screaming in red or black. And who knows, maybe they didn't even know what they bought at the time. But the truth of the matter is, I feel the color has made this car survive, and that's why it's an original matching numbers car, because the people didn't kill it. The personalities, the personality that bought this car is what made it last as long as it was. And now you could be the benefit of that and get what I feel may be one of the greatest collector cars ever on top of what I feel may be the next big spike uh, and run up in value is these high horsepower uh, last year body style cars. You know, the 70, the car changed quite a bit, but from 69 and that's it. And this is the L78 with 375 horsepower. All right, so cool. So listen, man, this uh, this frost green paint is really, really spectacular. It's hard to see under this light because of uh, that, but I want you to see how clear you can see all the font in the paint. All right, you can see what time it is on the watch. And that's important. The reason why is because pictures make cars look spectacular. But until you do the video in HD like we're doing it, look how unattractive I am in HD. But in pictures, I am a supermodel. Okay, I'm just throwing that out there. All right. Anyway, so uh, the great humps of and lumps of a muscle car. Let's look at that for a second. So real super sport style hood. All right. And then to do the restoration. You can just tell from the pictures and video already that this car is beautifully restored, but we're gonna walk around for a minute and really look at it, all right? New chrome and stainless, new grill, call outs for what's underneath the hood. This car is very authentic looking. Nothing on it's really modified. The only modification that, uh, that I can see at the moment is, okay, is this right here. Now you could have got the red line tire, all right, but it wouldn't have come in a radial 1969. You know what, if you're gonna show this car nationally, you're gonna need to change that to a belted tire, but if you just wanna to go to local car shows, okay, uh, coffee uh, shows and things like that, this is a great tire, and the reason why is because it drives 15% better than the belted tire that would have come on it back in the day. It's one of the best improvements ever on a car, all right? So the body, super straight. I wanted you to look down here. Arsh is gonna film how smooth and everything and how the door fits. Okay, because these are the things that you're paying for. You're paying for the effort that it took to get this. Listen. Listen. Okay, and look at how it nicely it fits. It doesn't sag down here. Because this car is so original and it wasn't a rust bucket, all right, is why it's such a great restoration. They started with a really nice, listen, you can restore any car, but a rusty old car is gonna be tough to piece back together and be uh, as nice as it was from the showroom the day it came out of the showroom. In this case here, this car was not a rusty car. It was an original car. It just needed to be restored. It was 30 or 40 years old, and, uh, and that's what happened. So as we walk around, the black stripe, you gotta have that. It breaks up a little bit of the green, and it looks really, really cool, okay? New bumpers, emblems, trunk lock, call out, correct tailpipes, taillight bezels, new glass. Uh, surrounds for trim. I'm going on about this stuff because it takes so much to restore a car, and this car here is so beautifully restored that uh, 
I can't wait to see it either be in a museum or somebody's collection or what have you. And then the more you watch this video, you're going to keep coming back to it. Because at first I said, well, I'm not really sure about the color so much. And the more I looked at the car, the more I said, wow, man, this thing is spectacular. All right? All right, let's check underneath the hood because the legend is under there. Okay. All right, so this is where the legend lies. Okay, some of the things you should be looking for in a restoration, all right? How stock looking is the engine compartment? In this case here, I think it's pretty stock and also has a couple features on it that you might have forgot to ask about uh, when you're looking for a car. For instance, power steering, this car has it. Power disc brakes, this car has it. The original 396, 375 horsepower motor in it with the correct winter snowflake here on the intake manifold, the correct carburetor underneath there, okay? Tower clamps, GM hoses, okay? Battery topper to make it look authentic. HP manifolds, all right? So those are the kinds of things that say, okay, wow, this is a really nice restoration. And it's all detailed inside here. The, the loom is there for the, for the wiring to hold it in place. Uh, the hinges are painted a different color than the hood and the body. It's not spray bombed black everywhere to hide things. This is the detail it takes to get to a show level car. And a little bit of yellow on the bottom of the dipstick like it's supposed to be. It's just little stuff like this. This has a rebuilt front suspension, it has a rebuilt transmission, the engine's been rebuilt, the rear end's been rebuilt. It's, I don't know, I get excited about it because to find these cars still left in existence is becoming fewer and fewer uh, to be had. Part of the restoration on a car is the trunk. You say, well, what's the big deal? I don't really care about the trunk. Well, you should care about the trunk because if you have a great restoration, they've gone into the trunk and finished that up as well. For instance, it should pop open without you having to lift it up. You see that? The springs are done the correct way, okay? Then you have the splatter coat inside here like it's supposed to be. The new trunk mat like it's supposed to be. A matching spare tire, painted jack, and everything's in place. We say, well, what's the big deal about having a spare tire? Well, let me just tell you something real quick. This wheel, this spare tire, the jack, and all the pieces that go in it, that could be seven, $800 by the time you piece all of that together, paint it, detail it, put it in there, and what have you. New gaskets around the whole car, jacking instructions, warnings about the positive traction, all those things that you want to make sure uh, that are there, especially if you want to go to a car show or something like that, okay? All right, so come on in here and check this out, all right? So this right here is some kind of nice, uh, the restoration and the equipment and things like that. All right, so we did notice uh, we have power disc brakes. We do have power steering, but everything else in here is fully restored as well. And I just want to show you the condition of it. This is stuffed with the padding correctly. It's not all flat. It's not supposed to be flat. It's supposed to have bolsters on the side. So the restorer stuffed this properly. The dash is painted body color like it's supposed to. This right here, difficult piece to get in this color, but all the trim inside here uh, works as well. And the rest of it, with new headliner, new package tray, seat covers, rear panels, sail panels, everything's in here, including the upgraded seat belts. You have the shoulder harness belts here. You have lap belts as well, which are plugged into the holders like they're supposed to. The console with the horseshoe shifter. Nice gauges on the dash there, all restored. And original AM FM stereo. Uh, that's built in there as well, okay? And if you want to, what we do for a lot of people is we install an AM, FM, CD, digital sound system inside the glove box there so that you can uh, have your iPod or whatever and you can stream it right from there, okay? Anyway, it's a, just a really, really cool car. Uh, what I'd like to do is start it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like and hear the legendary uh, 396, 375 horse car. As we close the video up on this car, it's just a spectacular piece of history. I want you to think about that for a second. First off, how many of these are left? Second, how many are frame-off restored cars, all original style, the original colors, drivetrains, equipment, all of those good things that go along with them. And you know what? This is a great looking car as well. Forget the fact that it's fabulous looking. It drives like it's brand new. It makes a lot of power. It makes all 375 like they say it does. At least it feels that way to me when I go down the road. And you look at the F41 suspension, so it handles really nicely. It just makes, uh, I don't know, I get smiley and whatever when I think about how cool this piece is because there's not many left. Anyway, if you wanted one of the coolest Chevelles ever to hit the planet, 
and one of the last ones left, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about the 69 L78 396 375 horse Chevelle.